the channel I'm Ian now we're obviously um, continuing in in the uh, Somerset Hills on the hunt for the Somerset coal fields now at the moment we are just to the west of Timsbury there are a lot of um, small uh, coal fields in this area uh, there's hardly any signs left which you'll see through the video um, but I think we need to, to see where they were because these are some of the early collieries that were opened to uh, get some coal out. Some of them only lasted 30, 40 years. Some of them were 100 years, but they were very, very early coal fields. Uh, and they were oh, fed up of walking up hills. Um, they were roughly 1701 to 1805 and your, your late 1700s to uh, mid to late 1800s a lot of it's been returned into uh, agricultural land uh, in the background there you can see Poulton so yeah we'll have a look around here and eventually once we've kind of seen what's about um, I, I'm not holding any hope out finding anything we'll move on to Poulton and then move back towards Hallatro and then up towards Bristol. But yeah, let's uh, now start exploring and see what we can find. Okay, um, we're currently at Mearns Colliery. Now, um, there's nothing left. I was just talking to someone. Um, he said, we'll go around the neighbours. They probably know where the mine was, but there's no one in. But I believe he reckons it was in this corner here. Um, there's the house, but it was over there somewhere. Um, probably, it's all capped off. This is the same again. It was mid 1800s to late 1800s, and it shut, uh, very short lived. But yeah, I can't find any signs of it. I was hoping to speak to, they were quite nice. he said they're quite an old couple and very friendly, but um, uh, no one's about. So yeah, this is the area of it, but I obviously can't get near it. But um, I don't think there'll be any sign of it anyway. Um, the problem with these little ones is you can't find any um, pictures online of what they look like. I'm still trying to find some pictures. If any, you know, if anyone can help me out, obviously leave a comment below and I'll get in touch with you and then give you a place where you can post some pictures. But I've looked everywhere and I can't find any. Perhaps people in the local area might be able to. But um, yeah, so this is the area of um, Merns Colliery. I think it's spelled like that. It's M-E-A-R-N-S. Okay, we're, um, I've gone round to the bottom of Merns Colliery to see if there is anything. Now, this is obviously um, the bath, uh, the spoil heap. You can tell by the soil. Um, obviously, there's been badger activity, rabbits, and they've dug. But you can just tell by the soil that this is an old batch. So, yeah, it's not the batch, but where the shaft and everything is, I've no idea. So, yeah, that's a tree line. So, this is this be the southern edge, the southern edge of the colliery. Um, that's obviously the batch um, where we just had a walk in. Uh, I can't see anything past there. There's a build. There's, there's obviously loads of newish buildings. This pit, I, I'll have to look at the dates. Um, but uh, I think, yeah, like I said earlier, it's one of those ones that are short lived. But I can't. What's up there? and give a, a rough guide of how close these colliers were. You see that house with the solar panels in? I'll try and zoom in. Um, well that's the area of Mearns Colliery and this is the area of 
Amesbury. So yeah, they we were all really close together. These do look like um, coal miner cottages. I don't think they were. Um, I'm not sure how big this Am Amesbury colliery was, but it was in this area. So I'm now walking to try and find old and new tidings colliery. So um, this is looking south from Amesbury Colliery and the clump of trees ahead of you that is uh, Broom Bell or Broom Bells Colliery. Yeah let's uh, stand under this tree, let's hope there's no lightning. Right. So yeah we're in the area of Amesbury Colliery. Now I think it was behind those trees there, we, we can't get in, um, it's all private land, I don't want to go in there to upset anyone. But in this field here on an old map it does show that there were mine shafts. Now, I think a lot of these um, smaller pits around here, they were like small ventures where um, it was say a couple of people, some women money and some local engineers started the mine, but then had to, uh, to um, give up. Not like, you know, like these big companies that came in. Now, um, I'll obviously give some details about this mine. But yeah, I can't find find anything. I, I knew this was going to be the, the problem with the ones around in this area. There's just um, there's just nothing left. They were only here for a maximum of 50 years. Uh, not like some of them were 200, 250 years. So yeah, we'll keep carrying on. Um, I've got to try and find a way out. It's actually chucking it down at the moment. Typical British weather. You go out and it starts raining. Sun's out, raining. Sun's out, raining. It's a bit like when we went to Scotland a couple of weeks ago. But we'll have a look I think this area here where these trees are this was a shaft um, and just I think where that tree is there that was a shaft as well looking at an old map I'll put the old map up and you can you can have a look and perhaps if you come down here um, have a look leave us a comment and there's a footpath that comes in here I think I kind of jumped over a barbed wire fence tucked up I think there was a shaft around here somewhere. If I've got water on the lens, I do apologise. We'll stand behind this tree. Or was it down there? Uh, it definitely looks like there was something there. The way that land is built up. But no, it's, it's really hard. Okay, we're now um, looking for um, a couple of the smaller collieries. We're going to try and find Priors Colliery. Now, just ahead of us, we're going to join Priors Hill, which is a road. Now, where that building is there, I'm pretty sure that's where the colliery was, looking at an, an old map. Um, this is another one of the really early ones. I don't honestly think we're going to find anything. But uh, we'll have a go. So yeah, I just, this is going to be another one of these um, collars that I don't think there's going to be anything left. You know, it was only open for X amount of years. I'll give you some more details when we get closer to it. But so this is the area. I think where that house is, is where Pryor's colliery was. Um, well, we'll have a look around there. There's a footpath that then should lead us up to Old Tynan's Colliery. So we'll have a look up there as well. I don't think, like as I said earlier on, all these other little collieries around here, I honestly don't think we're going to find anything. There might be some scarring on the landscape, but that's about it. Okay, looking at a map, um, this is the area of Pryor's Colliery. Um, according to a map, it says it's in the corner of this field, but I don't know. I'm really not sure. Um, there's some build buildings here, whether they were part of it, I don't know. Because obviously all the maps, they only go back so far and all you can see is um, disused shafts. Yeah, so according to a map I'm trying to follow, this is the area of Priory's.
colliery. Right, let's follow this footpath and it should bring us up to where old Tynan's colliery is. And I think new Tynan's colliery was up there as well. Old Tynan's colliery. Um, don't really know much about it. It's obviously private land now. Um, we'll try and find some details out about it. Um, everything's very... Everything's quite sketchy when it comes to these collieries, as I've said. But um, on the Timsbury community website, there's a, a page dedicated to the mining area, and that kind of gives us details of shaft depths um, when they opened and closed. Some of them haven't got even got just got question marks because they, they really don't know. It was really early 1800s, late 17 to early 1800s when they closed. But yeah. So this is the area of um, Old Tynan's Colliery. Right, so um, up there was Old Tynan's Pit. Now, the map I'm trying to read off um, says that the the new Tynan's pit was in the middle of this field somewhere. So basically the footpath goes off to our left, just down there. But apparently, well, what it says is the colliery um, was in this area here. Uh, it opened in uh, the late 1700s and it was shut by 1853. So that's probably why there's absolutely nothing. I, I walk, just walked up that hill there. Just the other side of those trees is like a, a hill. And it does honestly look, the soil is exactly the same as what you would find on a batch. So I reckon this is the site of New Tynan's Colliery. Um, okay, we're currently in the area of another colliery. Now, um, I'm not sure what this one was. Um, I think it was one of the Grove Color is um, another small one. I'll put a link. Uh, I'll put a description on the on the screen. I'm not 100% where it was because this is like a driveway. To some 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 cottage. Um, so yeah, but it does show it was in this area. There's obviously no sign of it now. It does look like this was a. Slag heap there. This, oops, there was an old slag heap there. Um, no idea where the shaft was. There's some old brickwork over there, but it's got electrified fence. I don't want to climb over in case people get a bit twitchy. But there's something over in that corner there, some stone. Uh, okay, we're still in the area which I think is one of the grove collieries. Now, um, there's no buildings left, but on a map you can see where the sh it shows where an old shaft was. Now I believe that the old shaft was on that hill there. Um, I can't actually get in there, but see there's some kind of wall left here. Was that something to do with one of the collieries? See if that is a shaft in the background through that hole in the trees. Could be. Got to remember these ones shut in the late 1800s so there's going to be very little of them left very little at all 